guys it's Elisa here one of the diamond stitcher as I go by on social media welcome um, if you're coming back thank you for coming back um, this video is gonna be a bit of a small shop um, unboxing um, well I don't know if they're considered a small shop but um, Oraloa they are a diamond painting company that carries licensed diamond paintings they've also branched out actually um, and they're selling uh, licensed stamped cross stitch kits. Um, I didn't get one on the first round, but I think I will order one on the next. Um, they look really good, um, especially if you have problems seeing uh, small cross stitch patterns. It looks like it's an 11 count Ada fabric, which is quite big, um, possibly easier to see. So anyway, that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I found out that they had a um, crystal shop or, or diamond shop. Um, they carry a variety of special drills, ABs and crystals. And because they have a warehouse in Canada, um, as a Canadian, when we buy shipping is quite reasonable. Um, this package took maybe about a week to get to me. I think so. Took a few days to dispatch once I put the order in and then maybe a week. I don't think any more than a week to get to me. Um, but I wanted to order crystals from them and unbox them and take a look at the quality. I've never seen them before. I've never used them. Um, so yeah, let me open this package. Oh, they're all, it's going to be a, a pile. So what I had ordered was, um, um, they had them in sets. I thought it would come in a, in a package, but it's not. But um, what I did order was two sets. Um, they had a set of round crystals and they had a set of square crystals. Um, so let me organize them here, the rect to round and square. Um, you could purchase it at a set, probably for a bit of a cheaper price usually. Um, when I, I actually often don't, bling up my diamond paintings only because I never know where to start. It's all quite overwhelming, I think. Um, and looking at a blank canvas, I never am quite sure um, where to put them. So I often have to put diamonds down and then pop them off just to put special diamonds. But I'm gonna try to bling out um, some of my upcoming diamond paintings and um, do it the proper way, like kind of chart them where I want them to go before I put the diamonds down. Um, these ones, I think, these ones are, yeah. So these are the sets. So I ordered one set for rounds here. And then this, these are squares and they came as one, one set, if you can understand what I mean. Um, I also ordered a few extras um, to give away uh, during our April group event which will be um, coming up shortly. So I ordered some single crystals to see um, as well, because um, I plan to keep the sets myself, but you never know, I always change my mind. Um, 310, these actually look amazing. Um, I'm seeing no tabs at all. Uniform, this is an AB, uniform. Um, let me pour them into the tray. Uniform coating, like, these are very staticky because I've just taken them out of the bag. Um, what I do for static is I cut up a little piece of dryer sheet and pop it in the bag. Um, I give it a good shake. If you leave it for, I usually just leave it for a day. Um, you could probably leave it for a couple hours and, and it should remove all of the static. Let me see if I can line these up so you can see. Bring it closer to the camera there. I hope you can see how shiny they are. These are 310 ABs. There's absolutely zero tabs. I don't see any tabs. I don't see any trash drills. I don't see any um, diamonds with scratch coating on them. They do look like they're, they're multifaceted, like the uh, old DAC squares where you had on the very top, you have a square or a diamond. Um, they look very sparkly in person. I think the camera's picking it up pretty well. Let me pour these ones back. I'll just show you a few of these. I, I, I wanted to order from them, like I said, because they ship from a Canadian warehouse. So it is cheaper for, 
for us to, um, it's just a little difficult because of the static to get them back. Um, it is cheaper for us. Uh, a lot of the, the um, crystal shops are in the States and um, if you wanna just order a few things for your diamond painting, it can be expensive. So this is a good option. I wanted to see what the quality was like as well. I'm not gonna pour every single one out. These are the rounds. Let me just add some air to the bag so I can wiggle them around. These are the rounds, round uh, 210 AB. Again, I'm seeing zero tabs, zero trash, even coating on all the diamonds. They look very good quality. I'm trying to see facet wise, quite faceted. I'm not gonna count them. I can't see that good, but um, they have a bit of a pointy tip on top. So they probably have quite a bit of, quite a few facets on them. I got uh, 701 AB. Now these, these ones I'm showing you, these are all uh, ABs. I wanted to see what uh, their ABs and crystals look like because they sell both. Again, no trash. Uh, 3818, I just picked some random colors that I thought looked cool. So looks like it's a kind of a green with a blue and a purple um, coloring to it. I got some round. Um, these look really sparkly. Even more so than the squares, I think 310 ABs, you can see that. Beautiful. These are actually nice. I usually don't like, I usually don't like um, 310, but these actually look really nice. And I got some light purple, just to see. Again, no tabs at all. The only, what I would consider trash that I see are just a couple little extra plastic pieces, but that I don't care about. That's easy to discard. It's it's diamonds with tabs on them that drive me nuts and um, really aggravate me. Let's look at some of the crystals. So these are the round crystals. And again, I ordered a set. You can order individually. So if you're looking for specific colors, um, you can go through their drop down menu and pick out which ABs you want or crystals. These look amazing. Look at that. You can see the shimmer there. No trash, uniform in size. I don't see any that are not of equal size. Sometimes with crystals, the silver backing that you can see there, sometimes it's not even, it's scratched off. And I consider that a trash drill because it doesn't, when the light shines on it, you're gonna see the scratches underneath it and it doesn't look very nice. But these, I'm not seeing any. There's the silver backing, no scratches at all. Uniform, no tabs, nothing, perfect. This is 3608, beautiful pink color. I'm really happy with this. I've, as I said, I've never worked um, with, I've never seen their crystals or their ABs. And I have had a kit, I do have a kit from them. I actually haven't worked on it yet either. Um, I just haven't gotten to it. These, some of these are having trouble coming out of this tray actually at the end there, not all of them. So, so it might be a little bit, um, some of them might be a little bit bigger, but when you look at them, you can't, you can't really notice. Um, this set had uh, an orange, uh, 3328, it's pretty green, 909, 550, looks like a dark purple, 967. A yellow one, 738, 844, which is like a brownie gray color. 951, 3836, which looks like a really nice light pink. I'm not a pro at DMC numbers, I have no idea. Um, pinky purple, uh, 3046, nice deep red, 815. So this was a set. So all of this came and you know what? I wish I had looked at the price again. There was no invoice in this envelope, so I can't can't tell you. And since I'm filming on my phone, I can't look it up. But I will pop up a picture of how much these cost, the sets cost, and the price of the single diamonds, um, the ABs that I showed you. These are the squares here. Um, they uh, They look really nice too. Let me pour these out. I'm really happy, I can't say enough, I'm really happy with this. Um, uh, one reason too that I um, I um, don't bling up paintings is because 
I've worked with crystals before that weren't nice. They were not even, they were uneven, they had tabs on them. Um, these look amazingly perfect, they really do. Um, I've only bought in crystals um, from a couple different shops before. I'm not gonna name them, but I, I wasn't too happy with the, um, the amount of discarded drills, just uneven and tabs. It just, I didn't think it looked nice, but these ones have such a pretty sparkle, so bright. Um, in the past, I used some that were quite dull, but these are just amazing. Let me pour these back here. Again, no trash at all. And they look so sparkly. Um, I have ordered from a few other um, shops I've never tried before. Um, I placed a couple orders uh, last week and actually another order for another shop this morning um, to check them out as well, just to give everybody options. But I'm really happy that this, this uh, Oraloa, their crystals are, are very well made. Very, I'd say no trash. Very well made. Uh, 818, um, 3033, 321, 3854, 799, 907. Uh, this is a smaller brake, 552, 3808. That's a really beautiful teal color. 915 is a pink. 154 is a red, a deep red. 3860 looks like a light pink color. Got a light orange, 402. A red, 817. Another yellow, 307. And a pink, 554. Uh, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Some of these small bags I might have added on. I can't quite remember. Um, but I'm going to pop up an info uh, photo here. Instead of posting a picture with the prices, I thought I would just um, pull up their website and um, take a look so you know where to go. Uh, so this is uh, oraloa.com. Um, right now, it looks like they have 15% off site-wide using the code oraloa15 expiring March 31st. They do have a selection of diamond paintings as well. Um, I haven't worked on one uh, myself, but I know that they did um, upgrade their kits relatively recently. Oh, go to new arrivals just to show you some of the options. Um, they did have one recently that I thought was really nice. Um, let me see if I can find it here. This one. Um, I thought she was beautiful. The colors in it, the mask, the lady, the artist is Maud Lamon. Probably not saying that right. Um, I never took French classes or I didn't pay attention uh, when we had French in primary school. Um, they also, as I mentioned, have new, um, um, ugh, losing my words here. They have new, um, products, cross stitch, stamp cross stitch kits. They have these three designs. They're all sold out right now. And I know they sold out fairly quickly. I'm kind of kicking myself I didn't get one, but I'm probably am going to get this one on the side here um, when they do restock. They're on a bigger, if you know anything about cross stitch, um, the fabric you use is called Ada fabric and you can get a variety of sizes and this is printed on an 11 count, so it's going to be a bit bigger, um, easier to see. I did see also they came out with some puzzles. Oh, they have five options here of puzzles, priced at $45.90. I don't think I've seen anyone um, work on them yet. I think this just came out like in the last week. Anyway, why I'm here, the diamond store. So if you see here, um, they have square crystal diamonds, round crystals, square ABs, round ABs, square diamonds, and round diamonds. Um, let me go through crystal squares so you can um, 
click on the left here to go through individually and pick specific DMC numbers that you want. As you can see here, it's a drop down and they have quite a large selection here, different colors. The nice thing is when you click it, it's gonna post uh, pop up a picture here where you can see what the color is. I really like that because I do not know my DMC numbers. Um, the only one I probably know are 310 and 5200. <laughs> This here on the right, the square crystal pack of 16 random colors, that's the one I purchased. Um, it's listed for $27.90 Canadian. 16 random crystal colors are chosen. So the ones that I went through in the unboxing uh, might not be the same if you were to place the order, um, but they did give a good selection, which I'm happy about. Um, if I look at the round crystals, they do have a a much larger variety uh, or uh, options for rounds from 150 all the way up to 5200. Uh, same thing, they're 350 a package. I don't know if I mentioned that with the square crystals, they were 350 as well. Um, again, they have a, a long list of, of DMC numbers you can scroll through. They have on this a chart with um, the different DMCs and what the color appears like which is nice, you could see. And then they also have down here at the bottom right, uh, which I this is what I bought. Whoops, I added it to cart. I wanted to click on it there. It's a little bit cheaper at $23.90 uh, for round 16 random colors. Again, you may not get the same colors or DMC numbers that I did, but um, it was a good variety. Square EB diamonds, let's just take a quick look. Those are also listed at 350 each. Again, drop down menu with uh, a selection here that you can pick. Click on uh, which one you want to see and it'll show you the color. It's really nice. Then they have their round ABs. Same setup, same price, 350. You got your drop down menu, you can pick. Click, oh, I should pick a different color so it changes yellow uh, so you can see the color. They also um, offer just regular DMC diamonds. So any of the DMC numbers, 150 all the way up to 5,200, you can click and it'll show you the, um, you can see up here, this is for DMC numbers uh, 3781 to 3895. They're 85 cents a bag. Uh, this is all Canadian, remember. Um, and there's, there's a list, a big list. They have a, a lot of options for DMC numbers. So that's nice. Um, if you if you have a blank canvas and you want to order diamonds, you could order them from here. Um, or if you've run out on a say a kit you bought through a D stash, so there is no oops warranty anymore, and you've run out of drills that you don't have, you could come here and see if they have um, your DMC number or something that closely matches. Um, the round ones also oh they're a bit cheaper, seventy five cents. So I think the yeah, the squares were eighty five. Um, these are 75 cents. So I wanted just to show you the prices there so you um, uh, have that information. Also, here is my diamond painting buddy. This is Abby. She's the one you'll hear from time to time in the video screaming or banging on the door. She looks uh, innocent, but she's got a mind of her own. Um, enjoying the, the sun coming in on a on a nice morning here in my part of Canada. Anyway, back to the clip. So you can see, I'll put links in the description box down below. Again, these are all from Oraloa. I do recommend you check out their shop. I bought these with my money, it's not sponsored. Um, yeah, and this also came with a little goodie bag here and I, I know when they send out packages, they always include this. Uh, but I would recommend um, if you wanna try out some new crystals definitely give these guys um take a look at their website and um um these are just little little goodies there's no magnets on them they're just cute little you could glue a small magnet on they have very tiny kind of mini neodymium magnets that you could glue on these are cute little little figures and this is a resin one that you could also glue a magnet on of their um i don't know if it's their mascot but um, they do have some of these characters some stickers, or Aloha, Beach, Paradise Island, Hawaii, Aloha State. 
That's just a thank you card. That's cool. They also have come out with these trading cards. I have no idea what they're about, but apparently in your packages, you can get different trading cards. They each have a number on top. And I guess they're trading cards. Collect them. Aloha treasure, let your creativity sparkle. Uh, scratch me if you have three something you win something of your choice orlo is a, a french company um, so um some of the translation might not come through um, very well they are a french company um i think that's where their main warehouse is france but like i said they have a, a warehouse in quebec so i think i needed three of these these little guys i only got two well, that's nice and you get um something free <laughs> Another sticker, and this is a little pendant with a little, that'd be cute if you've got a, a young child at home, make a little necklace for her. Those are freebies. So um, again, thank you for watching. Um, I haven't put these on a canvas, um, but at first look, they look amazing, uh, quite sparkly, no trash, no imperfections at all. Uh, both the ABs and the crystals. Um, yeah, su super happy and super excited to um, start working, um, putting some of these in my diamond painting. My current whip is Fairy Lights by Diamond Art Club. I'll take, um, I just started her, so I'm just on the first row. So maybe what I'll do is take take a look and see where some nice accents might go and and bling up my diamond painting. Um, as I said, I, I have ordered some diamonds from other Canadian small shops, also two American small shops, DP with sparklers and shimmering canvases. Um, I haven't I haven't tried shimmering canvases. Um, I always go with DP with sparklers. It's just who I was first introduced to. And I really like her sparklers, but I ordered some from Shimmering Canvases so you guys can see. Um, and then there's a few Canadian Etsy shops, mostly in Quebec, I think. Um, that sell a small selection of special diamonds that I ordered as well. Um, if you prefer to support smaller shops, um, just so you have options and just to see what's out there and, and that. Um, so when those come in, I will unbox those. I think I'm going to um, also make a video on how to bling out a diamond painting. I'm not an expert, but um, you know, I, I have an idea of, of what I like, where I like to accent certain things in a painting is where I put uh, the special drills. For example, like a night sky, um, the stars, you can bling up the stars um, in flowers. You can accent some of the petals. You know, there's a variety of things you can do with the special drills. So um, stay tuned for that video. Uh, probably won't come out for, for a little while. Um, I'll try my next painting to, to work on one that um, I could really bling up a lot so that I could show you guys and um, how I do it. And um, yeah, if you are Canadian and you know of a Canadian small shop that you get special drills from that you really like, let me know down below. Um, as I said, I've ordered from quite a few, uh, probably four or five small shops that have some special drills, uh, Canadian to show you, but let me know. Uh, if there's a shop I am not aware of, I'll take a look. Um, let me know how you bling up your diamond paintings. Uh, where do you put them? What do you do? What's your process? Do you put diamonds down and pop them off to put the special drills? Or do you um, pre-chart them and, and know exactly where you're going to put them? Um, the other thing I do with special drills is I don't necessarily look for the exact DMC, um, the number of the drill, because... It, you can't always find them. So I look for just a close alternative. Like if it's the DMC charted on the canvas from the company, like DAC is um, a blue, then I'll just look for a, a blue that, that closely matches and put it, put it on. Um, do you do that? Or do you look for exact DMCs in order from a variety of shops? Let me know down below. Again, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you found this informative. Um, if you happen to make a purchase, let me know what you think. Uh, well, otherwise, stay tuned for another uh, unboxing from other small shops and a blinging up video to come. Thank you. Take care. Bye.